Are you a new chef? Oh, you're Sailor Venus. Why are you a chef out on the side of the road? Sad. There's so many questions to be answered right now. Can I hire you? What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin and in today's episode we finally get to take a look at the Dine Out Pack. I know you guys have been really eager to see this, it was just released, I just installed it and I haven't actually played any of it yet but it looks really interesting. Actually Kevin just walked into this restaurant, we don't own this, we don't work here, he just kind of walked into the back, he's talking to Audrey from Honey Pop, Spider Woman and Vegeta the Chef. And I really like the place, so you know what? I think we're gonna buy it. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do this episode because the pack looks huge. It looks like there's a lot of stuff to do in it, but I feel like the main thing that people are interested in seeing is managing and owning your own restaurant. And I don't really like building in the game. I feel like if I spent an entire episode building a restaurant, it wouldn't be very interesting. So we've come to the sunny side up bar or whatever it's called. I don't really know what it's called. It doesn't matter. It's not going to be called that for long because Kevin is going to be buying the place and then refitting it to suit the family's needs. We might keep some of the staff. I hope we can, but the place needs a lot of work. It's got this weird yellow furniture and it doesn't have a bar and it's got weird blue people fishing next door. It's really just not going to cut it for us. So we're going to buy it. We're going to fix it up and then I'll give you guys the 10 cent tour of Shea Sauce. Okay, I spent way more time changing this than I probably should have, but I'm quite happy with it. It looks really good. I feel like the sign really screams the sauce family with the outrageous fires. I actually moved us to Windenburg as well, because for some reason Dine Out didn't come with a new neighborhood. So you can't really have a bunch of restaurants without demolishing a bunch of other stuff, which is a little bit disappointing, but I think I want to make a bit of a restaurant district. Hopefully we can make that happen. And the place looks a lot better. You know what, I'm actually really proud of it, even though I didn't really change a whole lot. I made it look a lot more like a Apple's Pie, which we still have. I didn't want to sell Apple's Pie. A lot of people told me, Kevin, did you just get into a fight with a woman? What are you, what's, oh God, help me Brainy Smurf. What's going on? I completely missed this. I was, guys, I'm trying to do a dying out episode here. Who the hell is this kid? Liberty Lee, get get the hell out of here. You're not gonna be welcome to my restaurant. Yeah, you better cross your eyes. Kevin will kill you. We must be in a rough part of town. We're gonna have to watch out for that. But like I was trying to say, I didn't want to sell Apple's Pie. You know, I was really proud of it and I didn't really want to refit it into a restaurant. So I bought this place. I made it look like Apple's Pie. So we have a bit of a theme. It's got that kind of wooden and green style to it. I added a bar because you gotta have a bar if you own a restaurant. That's gonna be really important. I made the back deck a little bit bigger as well because we had all of this unused space. And other than that, I didn't add a whole lot. I mean, it was a pretty good, we still have the kitchen. I added these, they're, um, they're wine, well, not really wine. I think it's nectar or something like that. It's wine. So now we can serve wine. Other than that, I think it's pretty good. I think we're good to go. We're one star. We should bring the whole family here. And then I need to figure out all of this stuff because there are a lot of menus and a lot of things that you can do before you actually start running your business. Tommy, you can't dress up as Iron Man. I don't know what our style is gonna be yet. I wanna say by looking at the place, it's gonna be kind of upper level bar food. What the hell is going on? Are we in a rough, rough part of the neighborhood? Patrick just beat the crap out of Brainy Smurf. This is like the rage cage here out in front of our restaurant. <laughs> okay, we need to keep an eye. Can we put a sign out here that says no fighting? That's like the third fight I've seen so far. I don't understand, but like I was trying to say, I don't think Iron Man is going to fit the bill. I want to say that this place is going to be kind of upper level bar food. It's the kind of place where the people that work there dress nice and they treat you nice, but you can buy fries or poutine or whatever the hell you want. But either way, Iron Man isn't going to be a part of that. So we're going to go to every day. Actually, Evie is dressed quite well. You know, that's a pretty good outfit. We might use that for our employees. I'm not really sure. I don't think we count as employees. I think we're managers, but I'm not sure. I need to... Restaurant settings. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Price markup. No, no, no. We're going to go at about 200 because I am not going to be going cheap on this. Um, let's go with the gold package of advertising. I want to really get the people in there. Menu. Okay, that's interesting. So we can choose what we do and don't want to serve. Yeah, because this place was a breakfast joint, it was called the Sunny Side Up whatever, it largely had eggs and breakfast stuff. We don't want that to be the case. We want to include kind of whatever you want. So we can put fish and chips. Oh, there's difficulty levels. That's interesting. That doesn't really matter though, because Kevin's kind of a master chef, and I think I want him to be my chef. 
So I'm just gonna pick out some random stuff that looks like it would have sauce on it. Anything Italian, uh, fish tacos. Bieber's gonna need more fish tacos. Franks and beans, sure, we're not above that. Some of this stuff is intense. We have space tacos, we have a volcano pasta, we have jungle moss eggs with lavender wisps. Sounds intense. I don't know if there's a limit to our menu, but I, I figured that's probably enough. Uh, what is this? Appetizers. Okay. Uh, Cheerios. Okay. F uh, no, sorry. Fruit Loops. Uh, but we're going to include savory bacon love petals and, uh, and whatever that is and a bunch of this stuff. Yeah, that looks good. We're going to have a really big menu. Like, super big, but I think that's fine. If I need to trim it down, like I said, I haven't played this before. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. We'll find out soon enough. Lots of desserts. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, now we need employee settings. What do you mean by, uh, change your employee outfits? Okay, so... That's another thing. I'm not sure if we can actually have Kevin be the chef. I feel like Kevin might have to be a manager, and we might need to actually hire a chef. Like, we might need to hire everybody. I have no idea yet, so we're probably gonna make these anyway. That's a good chef outfit. I like that. We're gonna go with that. I picked all the semi-formal stuff. I might take some time in between episodes to make my own. Right now, I don't really want to screw around with that. Ooh, customer dress code. That's really cool. We could have everybody show up in their sleepwear. That is, oh, that's so tempting. I feel like that's what everybody is going to do because it would be so funny to see people show up in their underwear to eat. But at the same time, we have so many CC characters in the neighborhood and I don't think many of them have sleepwear, so I want them to be recognizable. So I might just stick to every day. I feel like that's the best idea. Hopefully this is gonna work. Yeah, I tried to open the restaurant and it won't let me do it without hiring somebody and I don't know any of these guys. This is the one thing that I hate about get to work and about dine out now is that you don't get to pick who you want to hire. Why can't I hire somebody that I know? Why does it need to be an NPC sim? It's so frustrating. So who's our chef gonna be? Um, eeny meeny miny mo go with, um, who's the most talented? I guess you, right? Oh, I don't need a mixologist, though. I need a chef. I need a cook. Um, we'll go with this guy, Cole K. All right. And uh, we need, what is this? A uh, waiter. Okay, we'll get you. Kaylee. Oh, no, we'll get you. Yeah, Jessie Downing. She's got some style. And then for our host, we will get... Hmm, I guess you or you. We'll get M Michaela Khan. Okay, we should be good now. We should be able to open. Open for business. The restaurant is now open. Uh, Tom has hired a chef. Tom has hired a waitress. Tom has hired a host. Hopefully they show up for work. Here we go. There's, oh, God, our employees are inside each other already. HR is going to be all over this. There's our chef. Look at him coming in like a monkey. What an idiot. I want Vegeta! Oh, like the other place had such great employees. We have Vegeta, we had Audrey, and we had Spider-Woman. Now we got these randoms who I don't even care about. I might try to fix that in between episodes, I don't know. Can we hire a mixologist? We can have somebody tend the bar. Okay, Kevin, you can tend the bar, how about that? That sounds like a good idea, and then I guess the rest of us are just gonna kind of stand around and talk awkwardly. This is cool. You can actually do a bunch of like management stuff. So you're all managers, I guess. That's kind of disappointing. You can comp their food, give them a free dessert, welcome them. And like the more you talk to them, they, uh, yeah, wow, this place has some nice decor. Uh, all this attention from the owner is making me feel really special. Uh, nice decor. Okay, yeah, this is going well. I think Kevin is working the bar pretty well. This service at this place is fantastic. Okay, that's great. So this is working well, I guess. I want to see if we get some five stars. It seems like you start with three, and if you do a crappy job, they leave with less. And if you do a good job, they leave with more? Let's try to get a bunch of fives. Actually, you know what? I want six. I'm going to aim for high. You're too important to wait. I'm going to make sure your food comes out pronto. And you say that to all of them. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna need about 15 alien fish tacos, one lava pasta, and then, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's your deal? What the hell? Um, check up on. Are you all right? She's losing her shit over here. And Tommy's all over this. He's the one doing all the managing. So, are you, I'm not even gonna look at you. I gotta look away because you seem real upset. Uh, work is what it is. It's a means to an end for me. Okay, so you have a really crappy work ethic. Um, can we praise you? 
just Please like, yeah, in. yeah, you're doing great. Oh, just just stop being oh, such a stick in the mud. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the restaurant chef Cole K needs more training to cook everything on the menu. To avoid poor quality meals, choose lower difficulty food and drink. How do we train him? What? Pay for training. Um, oh my god, extensive training. We don't have that kind of money. Okay, we're giving him $150 worth of basic training because I need him to make everything. Thanks, I appreciate you investing in my future. I'll go to class next time I'm off work. Man, so we don't get to do any of that today. You guys are being all romantic and cute in the middle of the restaurant. It's driving me nuts. So, I guess they can't get whatever they ordered. That's a little bit disappointing. Hopefully that we can get this to work out. What did you guys get? Um, you're choking to death on your fish trio. Uh, you got a fruit salad? Okay, okay, what else we got working over here? Uh, you guys all went with the salmon. And they don't like it. That's not good. Oh, they're not happy. They're down to two stars. Hmm, a little on the pricey side. Really, land grab? You guys are like one of the richest families in town. And you can't afford a hundred bucks for a meal. Okay, you know what? I think we might need to close and we might need to train our chef. Can we train these guys as well? Um, pay for training. Okay, we're gonna pay for training for everybody because you gotta spend money to make money. Emma, can you train the waitress? So we are going to manage, pay for training, pay for training. Cole has recently received training. Okay, good. So I sent them all home and then I opened up right away again and it looks like everybody got their training. So that's a good first step. So now we should be able to make some better food. We actually made a little bit of money yesterday though, surprisingly enough. We made like $250, which is way more than Apple's Pie made in like the entire duration. So it looks like they actually spent a bit of time working it out how to make it so you can actually be profitable because I know people had a lot of trouble with the get to work stuff not actually being able to make a lot of money selling things what is your problem what are you, are you just she's just showing somebody their table and she's so pissed whoa what is that what are you Ooh, a restaurant critic oh we need to do well Kevin no wait Kevin's the bartender Emma we need to get Emma all over this so as soon as she sits down um, she's gonna seat herself. Oh god, Michaela, you're so useless. Where's she going? Oh no, she's going straight to Kevin! Yes, right into Kevin's arms. Let's, um, let's welcome her. Kevin knows his way around schmoozing people. He's the most charismatic guy I know. There you go. The service at this place is fantastic. Now, you, monkey man, don't screw this up. So does she want something? She's just kind of sitting here blankly. I can't, Sim has already been welcomed, okay. Maybe she's waiting for a seat. I'm really concerned because I can't control these stupid employees and I know they're not doing their job half the time. Are you trying to get her to a seat? All this attention from the owner is really making me feel special. That's great, as long as you're feeling special and you give me a five star review, I'll be super happy. How's, how's it going over here? The girls are trying, oh, guys, stop being flirty in the kitchen. You're gonna distract the chef. Here we go, we gave her a corner seat. The restaurant chef Cole K needs more training to cook everything on the menu. I know, I know, I'm giving you all the training I can. How is he doing? Can we see? Okay, it went up by one. So I guess every time he gets training, he gets a little tiny bit better. Woo, you see that? Four stars. The service at this place is fantastic. Yeah, it is. We are going to prioritize her food. Oh God, she's writing things down. Keep an eye on her. Oh, you didn't spill it, that's good. Is it good? Is it bad? Um, quality normal, okay, and the drink? Poor. You do, oh god, don't, don't spit it out. Does she like it? I don't think she cares. Poor is okay, what is she drinking? Oh no, this meal definitely doesn't look good. Let's make up for it by, um, comping her food. We don't need you to pay for that. Whoa, 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 calm yourself. She just ate the whole thing in like three bites. I guess it wasn't that poor. Where are you going with it? She's just gonna stand there. Ooh, um, seems a little pricey. Didn't I just comp your food? How is it pricey? She's not even, she's not even here anymore. It's like she's already finished. She's already made up her mind. So how did we do? I don't understand what's going on. She's just gonna stand here and finish eating and grilling me about my prices. Just just lay it on the floor. Sure, you're you're a critic. You can do whatever you want. Run the place. 
She's been standing here for hours. Oh, four star review. The cheerful staff went the extra mile to make my meal perfect. I recommend putting your trust in the chef and ordering the chef's choice. Dying here to experience what quality service should be. We're, we're up to a three star restaurant. Way to go. All right, we totally cheated the system there. Way to go, chef. You really pulled it off. Darth Vader's here now. We're getting a few more people showing up, which is good. We have a lot more seats. I thought it would be a lot busier. That's why I added a couple more extra seats. Sailor Jupiter is here, uh, but she isn't... They're not customers for some reason. They're just kind of... I guess you can just come in if you want to come in. Or maybe she's just here to hang out with Tommy. Tommy's bored at work <laughs> calling over women. Tommy, you have a weird taste in women, I'm not gonna lie. Black man, Majin Buu, and Smurfette walk into a bar. And that's not the start of a joke, that's actually what's happening in my restaurant somehow. And they aren't even customers! Like, they aren't interested in meals, they're not gonna give me a rating. I guess you can have people come in and sit down at the bar and just hang out, and they don't actually need to be customers for the Dine Out Pack, which is kinda cool. I mean, I'd like to have more people in here, it's kinda dead right now. Ooh, how did Vader do? Not good, apparently. We're now down to two and a half stars. I feel like we cheated the system and did really good with that critic, and now everybody else is like, wow, this place kinda sucks. Like, is there anything we could do to improve? There's perk points. We use those with the bakery, but... Yeah, like, we get an additional chef, we get another waitress and stuff like that. I do want to do that kind of stuff, but I don't want to waste them right now, because I do want to make this restaurant something big. You know, I want to have it so every seat is filled, and there's tons of people, and everybody's busy, and we have all the chefs and all the waitresses and stuff like that. But, like I said, I feel like you can really see that the developers made this more of a slow grind. You can't just get into being a big restaurant and do it. You have to invest a lot of time. Uh, rating keeps going up. Okay, that's good. Back to three stars. I want to get to four stars, but it's so difficult without the ability to do that. Can we increase? Can we give people training again? Is it too much to ask for? No. They've already received training. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close. Okay, we made another $800. That's okay. They're all gonna go home. We're gonna bring them all back moments later and then see if they can get training. And if they can, then I'm gonna send them home. And we're gonna do that a few times and see if we can get these guys useful. Awkward. Barbie, don't look. Death is here. We don't need to talk to him. Tommy's all over it. I opened up again and our employees just haven't shown up. Who are you? Are you a new chef? Oh, you're Sailor Venus. Why are you a chef out on the side of the road? Sad. There's so many questions to be answered right now. Can I hire you? Um, oh, are you my chef? What just happened? I feel like the game just broke because it says I can fire her. You were not my chef though, right? You're not my chef. Okay, can we, I'm gonna see if we can get her. Let's go praise her. Oh, she ran away. No, no, come back. Come back, Sailor Venus. No, oh man, I thought we had a cool chef for a second. Well, where the hell are him? Oh, he's here now. He snuck in the back. We still don't have our waitress and our hostess, so all these people are standing here. Where are all my employees? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. They're still not here. I don't understand. They haven't shown up. There's plenty of customers waiting, and the only person to show up was a chef. Everybody else screwed off. They're not even in sight. I don't understand what's going on. I, I honestly think I broke the game. Um, so let's close again. Sorry guys, everybody, everybody go home. We don't have anybody working here today. Try it again tomorrow. I can't close. Closing isn't working. Um, okay. Then I'm not really sure what we can do. Well, I've been open for 12 hours, and my employees still haven't shown up, and I still can't close my store, even though I've restarted the game, so I'm not really sure what more I can do. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys, and I'm sorry that this episode wasn't the laugh-out-loud hilarity that the series usually is. I wanted to take a look at the Dine Out Pack at launch, and it's kind of buggy, and it seems to be a very big time investment, which isn't a bad thing. I should say that I really do think the pack has a lot of potential. I'm 
really looking forward to Emma and Kevin going out to a fancy meal and not being interrupted, like going on a legitimate date, or having Tommy bring the Woohooers out on a legitimate date, like all of them, or even making Shea Sauce a success, like having a lot more employees and having them actually show up for work. I think this is going to be a really fun pack, but I really can't do any more this episode, so I wanted to take a second at the end of this episode anyway to thank you guys for last episode, because last episode, so many people liked that video so quickly that it ended up in YouTube's um, trending section for the UK, and so many people found the channel because of that, and a lot of people really enjoyed the video, so I wanted to thank you guys for that, you know, that really does go a long way in making the life of Kevin success, and we will return to the Dine Out Pack on Sunday, I promise I will have this sorted out, and hopefully we'll be able to do a little bit better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. You know what, Kevin? We're gonna have to be careful when we bring you to the bar. The guys are gonna be all over you. I mean, look at this. Who wouldn't? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, uh, you know what? I think that's probably good enough, right?